Yo, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Now, today I wanted to give my opinions and my thoughts about the brand new rune system that has been brought with the last update into Throne of Liberty over on the Korean version. So, yeah, there's been a lot of talk about it, talk about pay to win, and obviously talk about how grindy the uh, the rune system, well, the hammer, collecting the hammers, which you need the hammers to be able to unlock the sockets. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go into that. I'm going to show you how how the rune system works and talk about, you know, the, the issues that I think that it has. Um, cause, but I, I do actually think the rune system is a good system, but there is obviously some issues here. So, yeah, anyway, before I get into that, like, share and subscribe and leave me a comment down below. Now, let's jump into the video. Right, so guys, if we take a look and we talk about the rune system, so if I go ahead and go to my uh, inventory and then I click on the rune management, what it does is it brings up obviously the inventory for where you can manage your runes. Now, the interesting thing about the runes is that there is different types. So we have attack runes, we have defense runes, and then we have support runes. So if I go ahead and click on my bow, because I've unlocked all three, you know, all three slots on my on my bow. Um, the next, the, the the more important thing is actually which like order they call it a synergy. So which synergy does it unlock in? So for me, it did attack, defense, and then um, and then support. So the synergy. Forget what level the runes are. Forget forget these effects here. These are not important. What you really want to do, which is what I think is a big, is one of the big problems with the rune system, because I do really, really enjoy the rune system. I like the idea of it, but there is obviously, like I've been saying earlier, there is some issues with the rune system, and this is one of them. So you can see here it says that I have no rune synergy. So what does that mean? So if you click on the synergy list here, you can see that there's different tiers, which is obviously the different the different grades of uh, runes. So you have gray runes, green, and then blue, right? So obviously they're higher levels. It's some In my inventory, you can see here, I do have uh, a few blue runes here. Um, I've got some in my storage as well, but nevertheless, um, this is the most important thing because the synergy, getting the correct synergy um, will basically give you stats. So you can see the gray ones, if I could have three grays in the correct synergy order, so attack, defense, and then support, that would be strength two, for example. So yeah, there's attack, there's defense, and then there's the support. So I would be able to get uh, two strength extra stats um, if I had all three grays. So once I can get a um, support gray, if I slot that in, it's gonna give me two extra strength. And then obviously you go down, you get the better quality runes and then you get better stats. So if I had it in green, I would get two strength and then critical hip damage reduction by 4%. And then the same for the blue. I would then get strength three and then critical hip damage reduction by 6%. Now, obviously, that isn't what I, what I would personally want. I would probably want, if I was to look at these ones here, because I'm staff bow, I would want three decks and then I would want some attack speed. So plus three attack speed. So I would have to unlock it as um, the synergy order would have to be an attack slot followed by a support slot followed by a defense slot. And this is completely RNG. You can reset the sockets and then, and then go again. But <laughs> the funniest thing is, because obviously a lot of people, including myself, have been talking about the fact that the rune system is, you know, pay to win. Um, the only, <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm getting a bit ill, I think, so apologies for my voice. But um, the funny thing is, yes, even though it has pay to win elements in the rune system, the bigger the bigger thing is it's RNG. So like unlocking the, the whatever order is totally RNG. So I could spend, you know, hundreds and hundreds of dollars and pounds, whatever, and I could still not get this order that I want, this synergy that I would like to have, the attack and then the support and then the defense order, I could keep re-rolling this and keep re-rolling this and still not get there. So it's it's a big W for the developers of the game, as in 
they will get a lot of money out of this because of course if you if you like to whale in a game and you like to gamble in a game then obviously you're going to keep on re-rolling keep on spending and you're going to keep re-rolling until you get the perfect synergy on all of your equipment so this is just for the bow bear that in mind that's just for my bow if i wanted to do it for the staff i have to do it all over again and then for every single uh, like jewelry piece as well i would have to do this again and then again and then obviously on your belt and if you do more than one weapon you would do it again for that so I, I the reason why i like this idea is because obviously this is end game stuff guys just remember that this is obviously end game grinding now you can do all of this as a free to play player like as you can see i've unlocked some slots on on my stuff on certain items i i have and some items i haven't um it does take a lot of time now where do you get the runes you might ask so if i click on um if i go back to my inventory sorry if i click on a rune here and i show you how to acquire you can get runes from a lot of different stuff so you can get runes from doing different dynamic events all across the the map um dominion ones guild ones peaceful ones and stuff like that um you don't get a lot where you get the majority of your um runes is is when you go to the dungeons if you go to the challenge tiers now this is the brand new um update that they did so we have the 30 levels of uh, different tier difficulty tiers so as you can see here if i go to tier availables if i keep going up in the tiers you can see the rewards here different floors the more floors you go up then obviously the more uh, chance of runes you get so if i go up to i think it's tier 14 you can see here i get blue you get blue ones um and what about tier 15 does it go in? do you get even more four 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 no so it looks like tier yeah it looks like tier 15 is basically once you get to tier 15 that's where you get the highest amount of runes so this is where you will get most of it like i said you can also get runes from doing um world bosses and from doing guild bosses and stuff like that so bear that in mind there is a lot of content that you can do to get these runes but this is where this is your bread and butter this is where you want to be farming the most so like i said as a free to play player you want to be farming the challenge dungeons to get the most runes because the way that you unlock i'll show you the way that you unlock um a slot on your you know on your gear is you need rune hammers now how do you get rune hammers this is where the pay to win aspect comes in you can actually buy these rune hammers on the on the marketplace now if i go to the auction house um purchase miscellaneous i think it's under miscellaneous yeah you can see here you can literally buy a bundle of 10 rune hammers now these sell for a hell of a lot of lucent so as a free to play player just remember this you could farm these hammers and you can sell these on day one trust me the whales are gonna spend a lot of money uh, buying these from from day one so as soon as this comes into global if they don't change the way that this works then just farm get farming and you can make a lot of loosen as a free-to-play player now the way that you do it completely free is like i said you um let me look at this one you click on here you go to dissolve it and then when you dissolve the runes you have a chance between one to five fragments now the problem that we have is obviously you need a lot of runes so that's why you've got to farm like i said farm the challenge dungeons so it does take time and then you have to dissolve all of them and then once you've got a hundred rune fragments that can make one hammer so i in my opinion they need to lower 100 fragments is way way too much in my opinion but hey you know it is what it is for now um but yeah leave me a comment before before i finish the video just leave me go down leave me a comment what do you think about the you know the rune system do you like the idea or are you totally against it and yeah that's gonna be it like share and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next video see you soon peace